Hi, kindergarten. This is the last week you will have library before winter break. And this time of the year between Thanksgiving and winter break, I like to read some holiday books. So the first one we're going to read is I Smell Christmas. It is almost Christmas. We go to get our Christmas tree. Dad picks a big one. Mom picks a small one. Little sister and I pick the best one of all. When we get home, I help Dad set up the tree. The tree is crooked, so I give it a little push. Uh-oh, watch out, Dad. Mom makes hot chocolate. My little sister drinks a little cup because she's little. I drink a big cup because I'm big. We all decorate the tree. But Dad always puts a star on top. We hang candy canes, but we eat some too. We go shopping for Christmas presents. Then we get ice cream. Oh, poor little sister dropped her ice cream cone. On Christmas Eve, Grandma and Grandpa come over for dinner. They bring Grandma's famous apple pie. Merry Christmas, Grandma and Grandpa, I say, and give them both a kiss. We have a big turkey dinner. Then we sing Christmas carols and drink Dad's yummy eggnog with cinnamon on top. Then it's time for bed. Little sister and I leave cookies for Santa. They are ginger snaps, little sister's favorite. I toss and turn, trying to fall asleep. I wonder if Santa will like the cookies, but mostly, I wonder what I'm going to get for Christmas. The next morning, there are lots of presents under the tree. I get the baseball mitt I always wanted and the biggest lollipop in the whole world. Thank you, Santa. Merry Christmas, everyone. The next book we're going to read, I know some of you have been waiting for all year. It is Pig the Elf. We all know Pig, don't we? Dear Santa, may I please have something nice for Christmas? From Trevor. P.S. I love you so much. <clears throat> oh, Christmas Eve. That's mo that most merry of nights, the carols, the snowflakes, the small twinkling lights. Santa is coming, tis bigger than big, but no one was feeling more festive than, I bet you know, Pig! 
how he loved Christmas. He giggled with glee. The presents, the presents for me, 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 me. He'd written his list and he'd asked for a lot, but Santa takes orders, so why not? That's just the beginning of his list. From here, oh, and he keeps on going. I want a motorcycle, a rocket, a drum set, a pony, a skateboard, a cotton candy maker. That's all we can read on this page, huh? The presents, the presents, he screamed out again. When will he get here? Oh, when? Tell me when. He'll come while we sleep, said his lovely friend Trevor. But Pig shouted, sleep? I'll have none whatsoever. Sleep is for fools. Oh yes, yeah, sleep is for losers. I won't go to bed with the rest of you snoozers. I'm sitting up late. I'll be here when he comes. I declare by these stockings and gingerbread crumbs. So Trevor went dutifully off to his bed, but naughty old pig stayed up, just like he said. <clears throat> And waiting was endless, but Pig Hill held his ground. Then at 3.33, well, he heard a strange sound. And guess who had made that mysterious noise? A portly old gent with a bag full of toys. <clears throat> He piled up some presents marked Trevor and Pig. Then he picked up his milk and he took a big swig. But then as he turned to go back on his way, a short cranky dog appeared shouting, Hey! I asked for more, hollered Pig in dismay, but Santa turned around and then hurried away. Hey, shouted Pig, sounding very unkind. Then he nipped poor old Santa's big rosy behind. Up through the chimney, out to the sleigh. Pig held on tight. You're not getting away. Don't be a cheapskate. I want all of my stuff. That pile you left just is not enough. But the sleigh took off for fast. Gee, those reindeer were speedy. And away fell their guest. Uh-oh, he ripped Santa's suit. And Santa's wearing snowman underwear. That's cool. Yes, the elf who was greedy is right there, falling through the sky. But as Trevor lay dreaming of holiday cheer, a real Christmas miracle happened right here. Yes, Pig must be blessed. He survived the big drop and was saved by a tree. With an angel on top. At least this time, Pig didn't get hurt, did he? Here's some more of his list. I want a motorcycle, a rocket, a drum set, a pony, a skateboard, a cotton candy maker, a trained shark, a big bag of fudge, a jet ski, 
an inflatable banana, trip to a major theme park, three skateboards actually, scuba gear, false teeth, a chariot, rollerblades, a unicorn, a real one, not a fake one. One of those hats with a propeller on top, a pretty tea set, fake poo because it's funny, a cat to do things with, a beard, a little island, or a big one, I don't mind, a bagpiper, a chainsaw, the power of invisibility, as much fried chicken as I can eat, 12 hula hoops, must be 12, a day voucher to a spa, figure skating lessons, and longer legs. I think he asked for an awful lot and he was being greedy as usual. I hope you liked both the stories, especially the new pig one that we haven't seen before. And I will read some more books for you tomorrow.